Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very large Old Navy haul. Can you see my snack back here? <laughs> you guys know I'm always lunching and filming at the same time, so. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing what's new at Old Navy. I saw this top on their website and it kind of inspired this whole haul. I have a lot of things I ended up finding a lot more than I had anticipated. So I really need to jump right in. All the links, all my sizing and everything for reference will be down below. And without further ado, let's just hop right in. All right, guys, here is the first look. This is quite bright for fall, but I'm trying to also understand that not everyone lives in Maine or somewhere where it gets really cold in the fall and that this might actually be a really good kind of transitional look um, for somewhere that is a bit warmer. I just really fell in love with the seam detailing on this. It's got some really cool just like seams throughout. This bubble sleeve is beautiful. I have it in my true size extra small. This also has functioning buttons in the top, so this would be a really good nursing top if you are a nursing mom. Really, it was the seams in these sleeves that drew me to it. So they have the print in two different colors. They have it in this like light blue, and then they also have it in navy, and then they also have this top in some solid colors as well. So I bought the cream one, which I'll try in for you guys, but the neckline is so good. I have it tucked in. That's how the model was wearing it on the site, and I thought it looked really cute. Then on bottom, I have their extra high-rise, sky-high straight jeans. So I had to get these in a two because they didn't have uh, my normal size zero or double zero, and these are big on me. I think if I at least had the zero, it would be um, okay. But they are like, they're just, they're just a size too big. But regardless, I still wanted to try them on and share them for you guys because they're so good. The denim is so soft, so comfortable, nice and high waisted. It comes right up. These are more like rib cage, I would say. They're very, very flattering and they're super comfortable. I'm sure some of that has to do with the fact that I'm wearing a size up, which I think you could do if you like this like looser fit. You could just belt it, but very cute. They have like a raw hem at the bottom, which I really like. And also if you wanted these shorter, when jeans have a raw hem, you could really just like cut them if you wanted to, which is what I would probably do because I like them cropped. That way I can wear them with like booties. When you wear booties, you kind of want your jeans to just graze the top of your boot. It's kind of like a general rule of thumb and what's flattering on most people. So this is what they look like in the back. I really like the pocket placement. I feel like these are better than a lot of old navy jeans. Often I feel like the jeans are kind of too low and they're cute, but they don't necessarily like do anything extra for your bum. So these I actually really like. I think the pockets are in a nice place. And like I said, these are just super soft and comfortable jeans. I really, really like them. And then on bottom, I just have these strappy sandals from Target. Okay, I'm not sure if I like the blue one or this cream one better. This is the same top and just the solid cream. As you can see, it does have like an eyelet lace, which I think is really pretty. The same seam detailings. It tucks in well. The fabric is so soft, so comfy, and it just, I guess, depends on kind of what you're looking for. This one's probably a bit more versatile depending on um, kind of what you want to pair it up with. This would be a great work top too. And really quickly, just wanted to show you guys what the top looks like out too, because it is really cute if you like just kind of like a looser blouse. I know when my mom has blouses and stuff like this, she always leaves hers untucked and they look super cute on her. So yeah, it's just kind of like flowy, cute. Okay, next up guys, I just have this basic top and I love this because I found this in the athletic um, section of the store. By the way, this is showing up way more red um, than it is in person. It's definitely more of like a washed brick shade. This is in the athletic um, section and I love that you could wear it as an athletic top or you could wear it as um, an everyday top like this with jeans. It does have the little thumb hole here so if you're like a runner or something it's nice to have that. Yeah, I just love that. The fabric's really, really nice. You definitely can't tell that it's like a running top or anything once you have it on if you pair it like this. So I just imagine getting a lot of wear out of a top like this. And one of the other reasons I love it is because it only comes to about here. It's fitted all the way down, comes to about here, so there's not much to tuck in at all. It's just really effortless to throw on with anything high-waisted because there's not like a ton of fabric to tuck in. So yeah, I yeah, absolutely love this. And they had a few different colors in this as well. And I got my true size extra small. And just to mix it up, I threw on my Blowfish sneakers with these jeans. I think it looks really cute, actually. The jeans are kind of like the perfect length because they fall right on my ankle. So I think it looks really cute. And yeah, this would just be like a simple cute outfit. You could even throw on like a vest or something. Okay, next up, I have a few athleisure looks for you guys and just kind of like comfy options. I do wish I had grabbed just some plain black leggings, but I didn't. So I'm just going to be wearing my Spanx leggings. These, I mean, let's be honest, these are like the only leggings I wear anyway. Um, they're my faux leather Spanx leggings and I'm obsessed. I know that a lot of people haven't had the best experience with their Spanx leggings, but I'm wondering if they did not order the faux leather ones because I have ordered other ones before, like their cotton ones and stuff. And I'm just not really a fan. 
these ones are so different these are amazing i have three pairs now i have two of these exact ones like the plain black full leather ones and then i also have the croc snake print ones or whatever love those as well so yeah highly highly recommend these i cannot recommend them enough i'm wearing a size small and um, i'm kind of in between an extra small and a small but the small works it's just like a little bit big in the waist i don't know if you guys can like see that up here it's just kind of like chilling but um, they're definitely not going to fall down. Anyway, this top is from Old Navy. I got this in a size small. Love this. Keeping it. The fabric is so good. It's so good. Like so heavenly. It's so stretchy. I love this bat wing sleeve. I may even order another one of these because I would actually wear this with jeans as well. I just feel like this is a cute top to have. It does have this opening here in the back, which I also have an Old Navy bra on, um, which I'll show you guys in a second. But yeah, I thought this back was super cute. I hope you guys can see it. I really can't see the viewfinder, so actually maybe if I flip it like this, it's better, but how cute is that? It kind of like crosses over here, and I just love the way it hangs. Yeah, I just really think that is a fun touch. Um, I do want to show you the sports bra that I'm wearing. I really don't want to show too much. I got mine in a size extra small, and I'm currently a 30D. I keep going down sizes. I think I'm done. Like, I thought that I was done after breastfeeding. I thought that I was done, like, going down sizes. And then I went down another size. So anyway, I think I'm finally like settled at a 30D, but this bra is so good. It's a sports bra. Um, it doesn't have any clips or clasps. You just like slide it on over your head, but the bottom is nice and stretchy. It does feel very supportive. It fits me perfectly. I love the color of this one. And it's got like not thin, not thick straps, but they are very kind of like, it's like a strong elastic. So it's not flimsy whatsoever. It's saying light support. I totally disagree. I do not think that it's light support at all. Uh, maybe if you're heavier chested, it would be light support, but I think this is great and these straps are adjustable as well. So love that. And this is just really comfy cozy. All right, I just threw this vest on over the top of that same outfit. This vest, guys, so good. Perfect for fall. It's so nice. I really love this like mauve -y kind of purpley pink color. It's very, very subtle. Like it almost looks like a neutral. I love the way this vest feels. It's not overly puffy and it looks really cute layered up. This vest feels like really good quality. Did I say I got it in my true size extra small? I think it fits very true to size. It's got the zip in the front if you wanted to zip it up, but they did have this in some different colors. I just really liked this one. I was not in the market for a vest, but I may be keeping this one because I do. I really, really love it. Along that same kind of color, but much darker, I have this sweatshirt. This actually came in quite a few different colors. The sweatshirt is so good. I love this detailing in this little pocket. Um, it's kind of got like a bat wing again, and it is a bit cropped, so it only comes like just across my bum. I do have it front tucked into my Spanx leggings and paired with my Blowfish sneakers again. I think this is really cute. I could definitely see this paired up with like some mom jeans or something too, just kind of front tucked like this, but it has this really nice like fleecy lining on the inside, so it's super comfy. I'll show you guys what it looks like on tucked so just kind of I guess it's not really cropped it's just kind of like a basic length but yeah it's really good if you're looking for just kind of like a classic sweatshirt uh, I think this one looks more expensive just because of this detailing here okay I absolutely love this next piece guys they had this in three different colors I believe they may have had a couple more but it's like this quilted sweatshirt it's super soft it's got this front zip that comes really low and I just think this is really cute. It's got a subtle bat wing sleeve, but I love the quilted texture that's super in right now, super trendy. And this is just a little bit like unique. I definitely don't have a sweatshirt like this in my closet. I love this gray color. I think it's really pretty. It fits really well. I have it in my true size extra small. It's got this elastic band at the bottom. Um, so it just kind of like sits it's at the bottom. I always like to like roll these under almost so it looks, I don't know, like cropped or tucked in, but this is really, really good. And the inside is the same fabric as the outside. So it's just like a really soft, um, I don't know. It just feels like a t-shirt material. I like that it has the scrunch on the sleeve as well. Very comfy. Something I would throw on definitely all the time. And again, with like mom jeans or something to run around on the weekends, this would be really cute. So I feel like for a couple years in a row now, Old Navy has come out with these oversized sweatshirts um, in different colors and prints and whatnot. And I fell in love with this one when I saw it. I love that it's like that camel shade that I just always gravitate towards for whatever reason. It is like a little bit washed too, which I really like. This one's in a small. I think I would like it probably better in an extra small. I think it would be plenty oversized um, in your true size as this one's I don't know this one's like really oversized but I think I had two or three of these last season I wore them so so much I haven't brought out all my fall and winter stuff yet so I think that they're um in like my other closet that I share in Elle's room 
but love that slit in the side that just makes the sweatshirt for me this looks really cute with like a denim jacket over it which i have i'll actually throw that denim jacket on now that's how i always wear mine is just with some spanked leggings my sneakers throw this on in a denim jacket you're good to go you look super styled and yeah it's really cute okay so this is probably how you would see me wearing this sweatshirt i just love the way it pairs up this denim jacket is literally like the perfect all-around denim jacket it's not too distressed it's not too acid wash it's not too oversized it's not cropped it's just not too much of anything um it has like just the right amount of distressing i love the wash of it it's a really nice soft denim it's got some really nice seam details it looks expensive it feels really nice i got mine in a size small so I did size up, um, which I actually really like the way this fits. I mean, I like mine a little bit boxier. If you know that you want more of a classic fit, I would just go true to size with this one. But I would say um, by sizing up, it allows me to really layer with like thicker pieces like this underneath. So just keep that in mind. But truly, if you're looking for like an all around good denim jacket, one that's not overly trendy to like boyfriend fit or anything like that, this jacket is one of the best that I've tried on all season, especially for the price point. It's just really good. And often Old Navy does like 20% off their entire site, 30% off their entire site. So if you could snag this jacket for um, you know, a deal or something. It would just be an absolute steal and I really love it and I think it just totally completes this look. Oh guys, this sweater is a must have. This is so cozy, so soft. This is another piece I feel like Old Navy comes out with something super similar with every um, fall and winter season and it's just so good. Got mine in this color just to show some variety. It's kind of like a dark teal um, green color it's actually really really pretty now that i have it on i'm even more into it but they did have this in like your basic black cream and gray definitely think that i need the gray one just because i feel like i would wear it all the time i love how it has these front pockets it's got this nice like panel at the bottom just to add some detail with like some ribbing it does have full length sleeves with ribbing at the sleeve as well but i just have mine rolled up it definitely covers your bum so it's perfect with leggings and I can't get over how soft it is like it literally feels like a house blanket it's amazing underneath I just have one of their basic v-neck t-shirts on this one has like a cute floral on it and just to again show some variety I'm always wearing stuff over um, a band t-shirt and I understand that's not everyone's style so I wanted to share a different graphic this is much softer much more subtle and definitely something you could wear to work too I think this would be cute like under a blazer or something but just very cute I still have on my spanks and my sneakers that's pretty much what I'm wearing the rest of this haul until we get to the dresses just a really cute option. This sweater is, like I said, must, must have. To me, it's like the perfect sweater. So of course I have to share a shacket in this haul. I feel like that's unavoidable at this point. Shackets are so in style, so on trend. And I really, really love this one. They must've came out with one that was almost identical to this last fall and winter. Cause I'm almost positive I shared this in um, a haul. I didn't end up keeping it because it is like a tiny, tiny bit itchy and like the sleeves so you definitely want to wear something long sleeve under it um, i just have this cute uh, t-shirt on that says take a hike again another good graphic if you don't want something that's like a skull or a band t-shirt old navy has some really cute options so i felt like this one was really cute and i liked like the little landscape thing that they had going on but this jacket looks really cute i got it in a size small i love the color they did have two other colors but yeah definitely recommend if you're like sensitive to fabrics and stuff and my mom said i have always been so 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 sensitive to the way things feel like even when i was a toddler i used to beg her and ask her to cut all the tags out of all my clothes like on the back she would put something on me and i guess i just wouldn't let it go until she cut it off so I could be just overly sensitive, but just keep that in mind if you want to wear like a tank or something short sleeve underneath. I don't know if this is the best option, but I do love the way it fits. I like that it has pockets. I love this little um, like slit in the side. The quality is really good too. Like the outside's super soft and I just feel like this is such a pretty um, kind of tan color. I love the buttons and the boxy fit is really nice too because it's just not, you know, it's not too over, overly boxy, especially considering I did size up. So Okay guys, I have three looks left, including this denim dress. This is so cute, so flattering, and really, really comfortable. It's really well made. The denim is like very soft. Oh, it has pockets. Like it could not get better. How cute is this dress? Seriously, I love the top. I love the neckline. It's got like a little tie and some ruffle detailing at the top. I just feel like it's so flattering. I love the subtle like bubble sleeve pockets now that I know that it has pockets the length is really good too I feel like with old navy dresses a lot of times they're super long like they'll cut across my knee or something which I do not like at all and this one is like I wouldn't say it's mid 
but um, it's just a couple inches above my knee and it's perfect. I paired it with my Walmart white booties um, and I actually have a hat over here I'm going to throw on because I feel like this would be really cute for uh, like family fall photos or something, couples photos, just kind of cute and different, but um, something you could wear again. You know, I feel like you could just wear this casually. You could dress it up. It's got a really pretty square back as well. And then this smocking just makes it super comfortable because it's so stretchy, but I can't get over how sinking comfortable this is. So this is kind of like a sun hat from Target, but just to get an idea, if you guys have any cute hats, I feel like this would just be a really cute look. I love this dress. I'm trying to um, think of something I could wear it to so that I can keep it because I do. I just absolutely adore it okay so the kids actually just woke up um they're both having an ice pop out on the couch so i'm gonna wrap things up here but i have two dresses left to share so this one is just super comfy stretchy like jersey like material i got mine in a size small so i did size up one which i think is totally fine i think the extra small would have been fine too but they have this in a couple different colors i love the tier at the bottom and i love that it has pockets i have it paired with my blowfish sneakers i just think this is cute you could throw on that denim jacket and you would be good to go. I love a good comfy maxi for transitioning into fall. I just feel like it's a good staple. You know, you're kind of covered, you can layer it up, but you're still in a dress so you're not hot. Cause like I said, in a lot of places, it's actually not cold in the fall, so. All right guys, last dress. This is so cute. And again, another great one for family photos, couples photos, any type of photos you may be having done this fall. This is just so pretty. They had this in some solid colors and they had this print in some other colors as well. but. It buttons down the entire front. So again, another good dress if you're a nursing mom. And again, would be super cute with a belly too. Um, this isn't an extra small, so I feel like you could definitely get away with this for most of your pregnancy. If you're in your third trimester, I would size up one or two, just to be sure because this is not stretchy, but has pockets, it's just adorable. It does have like a little tear here at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little seam here with a separate tear. So it just gives it some nice movement at the bottom. But I unbuttoned the bottom so that it would have like a little slit, which is what makes me absolutely love this dress. I paired it up with some tote booties. But yeah, I always like something like this for um, photo shoots because it's like subtle, you're covered, but then it does have like some movement at the bottom. I love the slit to show a little bit of skin. If you feel awkward in front of the camera and you never know where to put your hands, it's always nice to like have a pocket to throw your hand into. So but a perfect one to end on for this haul. Okay guys, that is absolutely it for today's haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. Happy fall. I only said that because it rhymes and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.